Hi, this is Mark Cook for Kid Plains Magazine. We're in Yakima, Washington at the Cub Crafters facility. You can see there's Cub Crafters uh, SLSA behind me. In these two buildings off to my left here is manufacturing for both the SLSA completed airplanes, uh, but also for the really high quality components that go into the kit that the company has begun marketing and really starting to push. It's a really fascinating uh, facility, a great airplane. We're gonna go inside and take a look. Come on. I'm Jim Richmond. Uh, I'm the president of Cub Crafters. And our basic philosophy here is to maximize the strength, minimize the weight, and uh, simplify the airplane as much as possible. So we have less parts to build. Um, uh, we make them out of the strongest materials available, and uh, we make them with the most modern equipment that is available to us. Uh, it simplifies everything. It keeps the cost down. It simplifies the build of the airplane, uh, the manufacture of the parts. Uh, so keep it simple. Hi, my name is Randy Lervold. I'm general manager here at Cub Crafters. Uh, welcome, uh, we'll take you inside and show you what's new here. Uh, as you may know, we make uh, certified aircraft in the form of the Top Cub. We also have a light sport aircraft line with two models, the Carbon Cub SS and the Sport Cub S2. Uh, last year we introduced a kit version of that, the Carbon Cub EX. This year we're upgrading that. We've got a brand new uh, manual out for it that has the uh, FAA 51% rule uh, checklist built into it, and we're gonna take you inside and show you everything about the kit. We'd also like people to know that we're actually very much committed to the kit program. We have very qualified uh, full-time staff on board for tech support to answer all your pre-purchase questions. The kit business has you know, actually seen some companies less than committed. We're, uh, we're serious about it, and I think you'll, uh, when you review the program, you'll find it to be very complete. Welcome to Cub Crafters. My name is Mitch Travis and I'd like to show you around our manufacturing facility. Here at Cub Crafters we build the Top Cub, a 2300 pound certified aircraft. We build SLSA Carbon Cub SS, we build the Sport Cub S2, and we also manufacture the Carbon Cub EX kit. So I'd like to show you around our facility. These are our Super Sport Cub Carbon Cub wings. We've gone through and machined all the fittings. Piper used an extruded piece and a, a formed steel piece where they bent the sides over. Much stronger, much lighter. And again, we come back to making a lot of chips. The spars, when, when the kit people get the spars, they'll get a spar that has all of the rib holes already drilled in it and they literally put the rivet in. The Sport Cub, we designed it in SolidWorks and we broke all the tubes out, made the fixture, and we used an A-axis to, uh, to cut the tubes. So you can see the ends are all completely cut. Everything fits tighter than a sixteenth of an inch. So the guy comes in, lays the tube where it's supposed to go, sets it all up, tacks the sides together, comes in and then he puts it in the main fixture, puts the top and bottom in, welds it up. You can see the difference in the Longerons. We got the top cup Longerons here and the Super Sport Cub, or the Carbon Cub SS, Carbon Cub EX Longerons. Get a stronger fuselage out of it. Our floorboard, you build the floorboard up outside of the airplane. Rudder pedals, seat base, brakes, everything goes in it, torque tube. Then you load it in and you've got like 30 screws that hold it down. This is a Carbon Cub SS going to cover. Got all the antennas in it, everything's ready to go. They tape off the interior and they, they cover it. What we've done with our tapes, is we come in and, and we stripe off the tape area, brush down the poly brush, brush our tape on, iron it down, then we bring it into the paint booth and they spray on all the coats of poly brush. They get a really smooth finish 
and it allows us while they're spraying it to brush it a better coat into the, the fabric instead of getting a heavy uh, poly brush film on it you start out with a light film and brush it in it goes into the weave better sticks better you don't have that where it may flake off guy putting on too much poly brush it'll come out of paint in this state this is where we mount the instrument panel the boot cowl then we give it back to paint they take it back in they paint the final color on it comes back out and it'll go into station eight nine here's one of our panels when the customer if he was to order this panel he would get this panel just like this the GPS transponder radio would be in it and he'd be ready to set it down the cables would be in and he's ready to go this is the engine that's going to go on this airplane it's one of our CC 340s notice we're running a dual electronic ignition in it we've modified the uh, ignition coil placements here to uh, clear up the path for the oil cooler we've got our this is our Cupcrafter sump. We saw the parts being welded back in the weld shop. This is what the end sump looks like. We've got our four into one exhaust system, special for Cupcrafters. You'll see how it starts out as a, a large diameter and next down. All of these exhaust tubes are one piece. There's no welds in them. So you're not gonna have the problem of cracking exhaust like a lot of exhaust systems have. Up here at the flange, it's it's braze welded. It doesn't have the the TIG weld around it, so you don't have the cracking problem up here. We're running dual heat muffs for the cabin. A single carburetor heat muff over here. The bottom two coils for the ignition. This is the ignition pickup. It goes on the crankshaft or the end of the crank. The flywheel has magnets in it, fires the ignition. Yeah, this is, this is how the customer would get this part. We actually bond the seal into the lip. So the customer just puts it on the, the engine. We take these ailerons, we've got a skeleton, or flaps and ailerons, we've got a skeleton inside. We rivet the skeleton to the spar, we bond the trailing edge, then we bond the leading edge add the rivets top and bottom super lightweight unbelievably strong we've already tested these ailerons to the weight of a 2300 pound airplane this is our heat treat oven this is where we heat treat all our ribs uh, all the parts that need to be formed if they come to us in a hardened state and this is our 350 ton press if you come over here we can watch him form a rib The fluting's done and this, the negative draft's already done. So you don't need to form this rib. When you get it, it's completely done. What's gonna happen with this rib is it'll go to quality, they'll inspect it, they'll hold it for 72 hours, they'll stamp it and it'll head out to the floor. In this area right here, we have three CNC mills that we run all the time and they're running pretty much nonstop. I think we're running the night crew still? Two shifts. Our parts start out like this, and they'll end up like this. So, this door is completely assembled for the customer when they get it. It's another one of those difficult to put together without the fixtures, so the customer will get the door completely assembled, ready to bolt on, paint and bolt on the airplane. Thank you for joining us at Cub Crafters today. Uh, we've had a really good time with the tour of the plant. And I'm really proud of the people that work here. And I'm really proud of the product that we produce here. And I just thank you for joining us. This has been another Kit Plains factory tour. For more information, visit us at www.kitplains.com. Thanks for watching.